Hi, good evening all. Tonight I am starting the preparations for Hawthorne jam or jelly as the case may be. Uh, my friends and I have been out foraging in the beautiful Cumbrian hills surrounding the glorious Lake District today. Chillsome day, very, very cold, but an absolute joy just picking from the hedgerow as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful colour, lovely rich burgundy black. Oh, look at it, absolutely gorgeous. At the moment, I am just literally got it into the corner pot. It's been weighed, uh, the water has been added. I'm actually doing, it weighs in the, in the pot uh, two kilos exactly of fruit. As you can see, they are left with everything on. It's just been trimmed back. Uh, we've stored, obviously, got woody bits. It, it just takes too long. Um, and it's had 1,300 millilitres of just cold water put on the hob. Initially, it's just got to reach the boiling point. It then goes on to a simmer for one hour. And in that three times, i.e. every 20 minutes, it's got to be stirred and with a potato masher uh, just mulched down. We, we do that three or four times and then overnight it goes, obviously with me it's going to my utility room, uh, just to let the juice, so the berries soak through with the juice into the muslin. And then in the morning when it's all weighed out of how much juice is there, the, the sugar will, will correspond. It is quite exciting. It's such a, as I say, you, you can. It's just such a lovely, lovely colour. Um, it, it's got quite an interesting smell. Uh, it does say that once cooked and left, it it tastes of uh, avocados. I have no idea. Um, I'm I'm starting this from from scratch and first time I've actually cooked hawthorns. You can see some of the berries are starting to squidge down a little bit already. Um, it doesn't take too much. Uh, that, that's where I am at the moment. I just really want to show you, as promised, the sort of start, you know, the starting process and then going through the motions as we evolve. And you can see this delightful, evocative, sensual, earthy food I'm cooking. Um, and hopefully, you know, really get to enjoy it. It's patience and tolerance. You know, it's a labour of love at times, but oh my word, is it worth it? Absolutely. 100%. I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm going to leave that for the moment and I'll be back with you shortly. Bye.